to see that giving it time for worship is something important for us. We read in the book of Psalms 15 a psalm that defines who is going, oh Lord, who will go to your sanctuary? Who is the candidate for heaven? And verse 4 says, it is he that swears to his own heart and still does not change. My prayer for this new service is that it will produce young people who have integrity, who can be trusted, and who are their way to heaven. There is no reason for coming to this service if it is not a preparation for heaven. Because even the very best on earth is still no match for heaven. You know, sometimes things are so successful. Um, you, are, you went to this girl, you fear she will say no, she said yes. You feel like heaven has come. My friend is to tell you, even the very best on earth is no match for heaven. And you should always ask yourself, are you going to heaven? In the 25 minutes that I, I have, I want to go to a young man called Daniel. A young man called Daniel who was exactly like several of you here in this place. But he had several challenges. Among them is that he had been taken away from his own land as a prisoner, not a refugee, a prisoner, and taken to a new land. And so he was among people that did not act in the way that he was expected, he was expected to act. Now, so their traditions were not being followed. And in my mind, as I thought about this service, I thought one of the things that we need to do is to prepare young people for me moving out of capture, moving out of their mother's houses, moving out of their, of their environment to a new place. And the question is, are they going to be like Daniel, who will succeed who are going to succeed despite changes. Most of us, as older people, are very concerned that you bring up children in the fear of the Lord. They are very active during Sunday school. Everything is going okay. Then they reach somewhere around late teens into twenties and they start behaving totally differently from the way they used to behave in their world. Have you seen that? That's what is a subject of this of this of this uh, Sunday service. That's why we are going to get a youth service. The service that deals with transitions. How do you translate to another environment without losing your values? That's our discussion. <coughs> because it will be important to understand you have values. The fact that from now you get a scholarship and go to study in Finland. Should not make you become like the queens. Are we together? Mm -hmm. You have your own values. The fact that you move from here and get a job in Mombasa and you are working with people of strange interests and values should not make you change from your values. And I have an example to give you. A guy called Daniel who grew up with the fear of the Lord. Then he is placed in Babylon among the Babylonians. That was not the biggest test. Do you know, despite being a foreigner, he is actually selected to be a leader in a foreign land. Hey, that would be great, isn't it? Yes. My friend, that's a testing. He is told, in order for him to actually be appointed a leader, a governor, a D, a county commissioner, whatever the titles, what then? He has to learn the values of the Babylonians, the literature of the Babylonians, and start eating like the Babylonians. Now, I'm sure young people would have a problem. Many young people have a problem. If the boss says, I want to promote you, but I don't want to promote you, I have certain requirements. Young lady, I'll take you out for one evening. Uh -huh. <laughs> And you know, as I take you out, I'm going to make a promise. I'm giving you promotion. a promotion. How many young, young women will say no? 
When you know this guy, not only could you miss a promotion, you might also get fired. Because you see, for Daniel, once he was selected to become a leader after the training, if he refused, the kings of those days were no nonsense. His head, his neck could go. Let me ask you a question. What are the beans, carrots that are dangling? And because they are so attractive, they make you have to change your values. And you say, oh God, please God understand. If I lose this, what else? So the guy says, I want to go out with you at 4 the afternoon. Now, you know, when I left, I left the birthday in the 1970s, it used to be after 4 that. Now, for me, it's after 5. <coughs> now, the question is, you are a girl who is only 23. These are no son of 48. What are you doing in the evening together? <laughs> I'm not going to get it. Okay, I'm not talking about Sharon. But it's very important to understand, very important to understand that the reason some of those things are happening is because of the carrot. You know, put a carrot on the donkey and they can fall on you, isn't it? My brother, you're not a donkey. It's very important to understand you can choose not to follow the carrot. I'm not communicating. And many young people are being destroyed by so-called sponsors on the basis of the carrot. He has already said, I am going to make you a governor. Do a lot of satraps. I'll make you a satra. But before then, <laughs> you must eat meat of a dry nose, you must do this and that and that and that. Daniel said, no, he can't. So let me ask you, do you have values that are so strong, you are willing to lose anything, not to change your values? Let me ask you, do you love Jesus to the extent that you are willing to lose your job, willing to lose your results, uh, good results in school, in order to keep committed to him. Another lawyer friend of mine told me something that I thought was interesting. He, he must have done his form four about 15 years ago or so. And he tells me in this school, just about the exam time, they were told that they were going to be helped. That, 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 that the school had bought the exam that they were going to do. So in an evening, they were, both, they were told to come to a classroom to be given the result. In other words, of course, the, the exam doesn't have the result, doesn't have the answers. They were going to be given the answers before the day. When he had that, this young man says, he's a lawyer now. When he had that, he said, but I can't go. I'm a Christian. I can't go. The other said, what kind of a fool are you? It's not you who told the exam. It's now available. Our teacher wants to help us. Why? How can you refuse? The teacher went to him. He says, I know if I went there, I will pass. But in the process, I have disappointed the Lord. I am not willing to go there. Do you think it was easy? Which young man does not want to get a name? But if you get a name, you need to have a total exam. The boy said no. And he went to pray and to study. I think the law. These ones are going to get a name, obviously. But they also want a name. Help me. He started, he prepared. On the day of the exam, me, I used to leave their joke. The guy told me the things those people are shown after they appeared in the exam. Which means the student exam was real. And he knew he was not passing. Fast forward, the results finally came. The guy got a straight A. Wow. That's, how, that's why he went to the University of Nairobi to do law. And I finally found him in the, in the in Patlas campus of the Republic of Nairobi, being the CEO chairman. And that's how we became friends. That's how I met him. So that's how we got to discuss. This launching of the youth service as in Barnabas, Capsabet. It's so that we produce young men like that. Amen. People who will see the, who will see the stolen exam there. And they'll go the opposite direction. Amen. And believe that God is able to make them. Amen. 
my sister. That's when you are, when, when, when I beat an old guy who has your life, he can make you go places. All of us meet you after five. Mm -hmm. You don't tell you, you know, I can't go, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm a Christian. Why are you sorry you are a Christian? <laughs> now, if you are sorry you are a Christian, you better backslide as quickly as can you be my girlfriend? I'm sorry, I'm a Christian. <laughs> you ask a young man, can I buy you a drink? Sorry, sir. I'm sorry, I'm a Christian. If you are sorry. Now, sure, you can first of all ask yourself. <laughs> first of all, ask yourself. Now, did, is, it, uh, is it wonderful to look drunk? Do drunkards look very admirable? No. Now, how can you be sorry that you are not drunk? <laughs> I'll take my point. Yes. You should be simple like you people who drink. They are messing their lives. They are coming short their lives and start saying, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I can't drink. I'm sorry I'm a Christian. We need to come out clear. We are proud we are Christian. Yeah. We are happy we are Christian. Yeah. Our discussion is, we are looking for people, Psalm 15, who will go to the sanctuary of the Lord. Amen. That's Psalm 15. And we are coming to the life of Daniel to say, it is possible to be a young man at a transition, and you can move. So that's the first, that was the test. I want a promotion. I want to go places. But this is a requirement. Daniel was very interesting. He actually told the leader of the, of the university they were going to go through, I can't eat what you're offering. But I'm telling you something. How I know they are meat rich food for the king, but these are things that have been prayed for, they are for idol worship. I can't touch that. Just give me vegetables. <laughs> ah, the guy said, no, 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 no. If I turn to as far the program, it will be my head and think. He was told, no, 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 I don't want you to die. Give us 10 days. Let everybody else in the university go eating exactly what you're offering them. For us, for us, Daniel, Chandra, Mitchell, and Abednego, give us vegetables. Cheap food. Compare us after 10 days. And the experiment worked. Am I communicating? Yes. After 10 days, the guys who are vegetables were looking so far much better than what they're looking now, permanently on vegetables. And that's the way they're doing their comment. I'm saying it's young people. Do you believe in a God who can turn vegetables to have protein and starch and vitamins so that you look well? Oh, yes. Amen. I'm not communicating. Yes. Because the trouble is, we want to be like others. We want to move with everybody. And we do not want to trust God that He can use a different route to make us achieve the same thing. Of course, even the guys, even the guys that were eating uh, kids' food, we are looking okay. It's only the vegetable that are looking better. I'm not communicating. Amen. So I want to ask you, what are the many, many ways people who don't trust God are following and succeeding? They are following and doing well. You know, girls and sponsors are doing very well. I agree. What <laughs> about you become as a girl with sponsors? After 10 days, and 10 days will be 10 years. After 10 days, just watch. Compare the girls that were sponsored with the girl that was sponsorless. Because he was trusting in <laughs> Here, on this second point, is learning to trust God. To use what looks like nothing to the world to produce something. And it is so clear that even the world will see the truth mm -hmm. that you are something better than them. Sure. So that will be the question. What are the current temptations to compromise? Huh? There's that boy, he's a non-Christian, but he looks like the type that is, um, that is uh, the type that will take you places. You know, there's that other one who is born again, but he looks so poor, he wonder how do you be able to walk next to him. Now, and they are there. And you know the Spirit of God is saying clearly, do you want to go to the sanctuary at Psalm 15? Uh -huh. You are not going to be in 
the company of non Christians. I say, God, this non Christian is not too bad. He goes to church on Sundays. Now, that's not a question. Is he born? Again. Again. But there I have a book called Finding a Life Partner for helping young people to navigate the challenges of that transition. And I think I should offer it, I should offer it into a, a new library. Can we launch Kapsabet Youth Library? Amen. Now the Levites must appoint a librarian. Mm -hmm. Is that difficult? Amen. Is that difficult to appoint? No. Now the work of the librarian will be to make sure the book doesn't become a, the library doesn't become a store. What is a store? A place where you put the books. What a librarian? Where books never stay. You know, in other words, one person will finish the other borrows. Can you see the difference? Yes. So you need to, to get to, to appoint somebody who will not make it a bookstore. It will become a librarian. Yes. And, and within the next one week, God willing, I'll find a way of you getting. I've written 10 books, mainly for young people, and I want to donate all the 10 books. Oh. <laughs> You 
are going to marry an uncle, you will marry Mama Kai, you are home with the Atera Center. Because you did not know, you don't marry the outside, you marry the inside. You see, that boy who doesn't look like he was properly shaped should not worry, find it out. Who is staying? And it's important to understand. Is that right? So, my friend Daniel understood clearly that he can actually achieve his purposes in life without ever having to cut corners. He will stay on the straight and the narrow and is still going to achieve it. Exercise. It matters whether you have adequate rest. You must organize your life. Physically, I'm not going to spend it on it. Physically, so that you want to go by your body. Yes. You want to communicate? Yes. That's what the thing requires. They have to be physically fit. So, as you, in this week's service, we'll also be talking about how to be physically fit. fit. That's, what they, that's what it's being actually required here. It <coughs> goes, on, goes on to say it's not just physically fit, they have to be hardy some. In other words, there are people who grew, who look after themselves. You don't, the issue is not that you are wearing an expensive suit. It's not that you are wearing an expensive, an expensive, an expensive dress. It's that it is clean. And water is available in Kamsa. Am I right? Yes. Are you short of water? No. No. So it means as a young person who wants to serve the Lord, the king, who wants to enter into things, but you need to be somebody who dresses properly. Are we together? I did not say who dresses expensively. I said who dresses properly. It means a car will dress to ensure they cover what must be covered. Even if the fashion is saying expose something, ask yourself, will that gonna go? I'm not communicating. Yes. Yeah. So it's not the fact that in your body they have decided you must now expose your back. Now ask, before I expose my back, what does the Lord want? I'm not communicating. Yes. Yeah, that's how that, that's how we talk about. If you start in the king's back, you need to look in a certain way. Let's, let's go on. Now then it goes on to say, showing aptitude for every kind of learning. Academic progression. You are here, you finish from four. The government has all these events. Have you heard of them? And they are saying they are giving back a thousand children school fees free. Have you heard of it? Now you cannot be calling yourself a Christian who wants to serve the Lord, who does not want to progress intellectually. Am I communicating? Yeah. I am a retired person. And the other day in my retirement, I did my master's. It was very tough. My friend don't become like me. Do your masters when you're in your twenties. I'm not communicating. Do your masters in your in your thirties. My wife got her PhD in her sixties. Now it's very tough. Don't copy us. I'm not communicating. So it's important. The intellectual they have to learn. If you want to serve the Lord, you cannot serve when you're a foolish guy. You want to talk to people, they don't understand what you're talking about because your mind is, is, is spent on track. If you are, in 1969, as a from two boy, I made a commitment that I'll always be reading a book for my intellectual development. Not a set book for exams, not a, something about assignment, just a book to help me develop. Currently, I'm reading a book by Kigabi, coming from, from Yodori, which has written on apologetics. Quite a huge book I'm struggling to, I'm struggling to finish it. But from 1969, next year it will be 50 years. I have never been without a book just for my intellectual development. Anytime you meet me, ask me which book they are reading. Of course, sometimes when my children were young, they used to make fun. Because they, they, they keep me reading a book, they come for me to time and read the same book since my first year. How can you be reading the same book? I say, I think so, I'll, I'll read it fast. I just said, I'm reading. So I'm always reading. And I can tell you, when I started reading, I did not know how to start writing. Cooper Cole was investing in me to read people's ideas, compare them with the scriptures, so that they can write for other people. But as a two boy, did I know? I am suggesting to you, as a youth, 
if you really want to get that the king's service, you must make a commitment to always be progressing. Don't fill your mind with pornography. Don't fill your mind with the trash out of the internet. Select materials that will develop your brain. Unfortunately, my time is up. But it's important to just see they have to have aptitude in every kind of learning. And it was important. Let me just finish this. Good to understand and qualify to serve the king's palace. You have to do what God requires for you to qualify to serve him. And when you serve the Lord, I've been a Christian for, as you can see, for more than 50 years, I can tell you it depends to serve the Lord. You are lying. I've written another book. I hope I'll also be donating it called The Secret of Contentment. There's nothing more fulfilling than being in the center of God's will. Let us pray. Let me give you a moment to pray for yourself.